Hi, my name is Jason Chapman. I'm with PlugRadar.com, and today we're going to give you an overview of the UAD 1176 variations that um, are available. Uh, not all of them, but just give you a quick overview of what they've got. So let's switch over to Logic. I'm using Logic Pro 9 instead of Logic Pro 10. It's just not uh, compatible with my OS on my computer, which is a shame. But I just want to give you a, a quick playback of what I've got as a loop. So here's my loop. I've brought the volume down quite a bit so that my voiceover is just a little bit louder. Snare has lots of reverb on it. This is just a regular Apple loop that is available. It's acoustic kick, groove, whatever over here that you can see. Uh, let's call up the presets and see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is just uh, instigate a couple of these plugins. I'm going to go UAD. Beautiful interface that we see on each of these. Uh, the controls are so simple. You've got input, output, attack, release, and then your ratios over here. A little bit of metering if it's set to gain reduction, you can see. Now, uh, they also come with some presets. This is a newer thing that I haven't seen in um, previous versions of uh, the UAD. I'm, I must be old school with not catching up on the UAD 2 stuff, but as you can see, they've got some really nice um, presets. And the, when they say Andy Johns, right, it shows you each of their presets, and then they give the name, and then, then the presets going through. So I don't know. Let's see if we can see. There's guitar, bass, snare. I don't know if there's a whole drum preset that they've got. Oh, squash drum room. So there we've got the squash drum room. This is not necessarily going to give us the exact input and output that we need, but you know, let's see what happens. So here's without. And let's see just the preset as it is. Yeah, they're exactly right. Squash room. So a couple of things that we have to do is I'm going to lower the release a little bit and lower the input. You can see it's still pumping a little bit. I'm gonna bring the volume up so that we can hear the difference. So you can hear the snare is a little less crushed. And let's hear the snare again with the room. So there you go. Um, some people use the 1176 for some really nice compression. Others use it for effect, and, and that's what we we're using it for just then, that we we're crushing the sound a little bit. I'm going to bring our bypass system and bring up a couple other variations, and we'll see how close we can get to that uh, preset on each of the different um, variations. Now, the UAD is not supposed to sound, the 1176 is not supposed to sound the same, all of these, so it's really nice to have a little bit of flavors. One of the things that I do notice, though, is that it's kind of a pain to switch back and forth between these different flavors. It would be really nice if they just decided in one interface that you could just click, boom, 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 the different variations or revisions of um, the plugin. And even if they wanted to include the different revisions as presets that you call up as showing up first, at least the plugins could be identical, that they just click through and change the revisions. It'd be really nice to see the different um, choices for the user instead of having to go through and do what I'm doing right now, which is trying to find all the different ones that we have. So I'm also going to bring up the legacy version of this just so that we have something to compare. So I'll leave it over here so that we can get off the screen, but we want to be able to have a listen to it as well. And then uh, finally, here's the next, the last revision, I believe, that is included with the newer version of the UAD2 cards. So uh, here we go, our revision E. These, of course, also come with the Apollo and so on, uh, the other interfaces that uh, Universal Audio has. So uh, let's just bring you back and let you have a listen to what we did before with the uh, rev revision A. You can see here, this is the revision A. This is without it. And with the back end. So here's with the back end. Really slam in that room a bit. So let's see if we can uh, compare those presets over here. So I'm going to just adjust the input. Now, while I'm adjusting this, I should mention a couple things about the 1176. It has a threshold that kind of stays the same. You don't, you're not, you don't ever really adjust threshold. You adjust how much signal gets put in against the threshold and how much output happens afterwards, which makes it quite simple to use once you get used to it. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit different is that the attack and release times are all set up as uh, fast is to the right instead of to the left. Uh, this is different than most. Um, plugins or compressors and uh, I really took the release down on these uh, I notched it down a little bit from 7 to 6 and because before I was really pumping that room we're going to 21 uh, to 1 ratio and let's hear the difference so this is uh, with the uh, revision A 
Okay, bypass, uh, put in the next one. This is worth the revision AE. Try and match the levels for you. And let's see, compare it to the other. And again, different units are gonna sound a little bit different. This is to be expected. Still giving you that 1176 squash that we've um, come to love in the studio. I'm going to adjust the output here. Let's see if I can get it fairly close. We'll see. Uh, release was fairly fast, right at six, and this was 20 to one. Let's see what we got on this revision E. Yeah, I think I love that one. Without it. I'm in love with this. This sounds great. I love it. Okay, now uh, let's compare it to the revision AE. And bypass. So different flavors. And the last revision. So there you go, there's your um, basic overview of the offerings of the UAD 1176. Uh, we should actually give you one more thing here. I'm just gonna show you the comparison of what we have with the Legacy plugin. The Legacy plugin, as you can see, doesn't have as nice of an interface, but I can tell you I've made some great albums off of this uh, using this plugin uh, and uh, gotten some great sounds over the years with it. It's uh, by no means a slouch, so. Uh, and even it was better than some em emulations before we came out with these other revisions. I'm going to bypass all the plugins so that we only get this one. Here's without, here's the legacy back in. I have to do some makeup gain on that. Maybe I need to bring in the input a little bit more. One thing I didn't do was check the metering to see what the actual gain reduction was and make it similar on each of these, so that obviously would have made a difference as well. But at least you can see that you're getting 11, uh, excuse me, 1176 flavor across uh, at least four different variations of the plugin, whether it's the Legacy and then these other revisions that UAD has added. Just love this stuff. Great work from Universal Audio.